Well, Bemidji High School students are learning some of the most innovative engineering techniques and tools. Using 3D printing, mapping, and more, their teachers hope to inspire them to go on to lead the way in the field. As Mel Meyer reports in this week's Golden Apple. Remember yesterday we wrote the Compound Inequality? Remember doing that? Through the outside organization called Project Lead the Way, teachers receive training from industry professionals and the materials they'll need in the classroom. Chris Conway says the program also consistently reviews the course lessons. Which means the curriculum that we're using is always up to date and accurate. It coincides really well with what's going on in, in industry. Most recently, the students have been working on 3D models of car parts. Sophomore Kyle Watson says he wanted to take the class because he's interested in building things like this in the future. And I thought, hey, it might be a good opportunity to sign up for such a great class. If students enjoy this introductory course, they can move on to the principles of engineering, which focuses on the math side. But it's applied math, so a lot of the kids really enjoy it. Uh, seeing the numbers go to work. Over in aerospace engineering, students get to learn parts of a plane, the navigation, and how to fly. Woo! Then we get into propulsion systems of rockets that have to build model rockets and fly them successfully. Now they've moved on to unmanned remote controlled objects. We are building a robot that has a claw on it. It's supposed to mimic like a rover you would see on a, like Mars. As the technology that they build changes, so do the people behind it. Traditionally, we haven't had a ton of girls in our classes. Uh, one of the things that we're trying this year in the industrial tech department um, is we're offering an all-girls automotive class. It's just one of the many things students have to look forward to next year. The flight instructor is going to come in and teach the flight part of the course, so the students will have their the private pilot's ground school course done. An incredible opportunity for high school students who might have to pay much more in the future for such an experience. It's high school and it's free and the worst that could happen is I don't like it and at least I know that when I get to college it's not what I want to do. In Bemidji with this week's Golden Apple, I'm Mal Meyer, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.